Clean Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. That is a very long name. And I am in number 60, which is Sandy Beige. And I'm also going to be using the applicator, which is called the Dream Blender. And I actually purchased them separately because this one I bought at Target and this one I bought at CVS. They didn't have it at Target. So I'll be showing you guys how I use this, how my foundation looks throughout the day. Let's go ahead and just show you the demo of how to apply it. So first I'm gonna start with my Nivea Men Post Shave Balm on my skin to prime my skin and just make sure that it's moisturized and ready to go. For this application, I'm going to use the Dream Blender. I'm gonna take it out of the packaging so you guys can see it. Evens the coverage and smooth the finish. And this is what it looks like. So it's actually very, um, very hard, I would say. It's not like the Beauty Blender where it's soft. Wet and towel dry the blender for lighter coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet that and I'll be right back. So I wet the little sponge here and I'm gonna use the foundation on half of my skin with the blender. So on this side of my skin and then I'm gonna go in with this uh, flat brush from Delium and I'm going to apply it on this side of my face. I've used this already with my fingers and it was okay but then I found the blender so I wanted to try it out. So I wanted to give the review since both items are supposed to be used together. So I'm just going to use, again I haven't used this, so I'm gonna use about that much on my skin and it just is to kind of smooth it on the skin and I'm going to just apply that so it applies really smoothly and nicely I don't know if this is a good application for someone that has a dry flaky skin because I feel like it is going to really show the flakiness but overall it's applying pretty nicely and I love this applicator for under the eye it's really cool because it really gets in there and it's really pointy enough to just kind of go on the inner corner there and like on the crevices of the nose and things like that I haven't applied any more as you can see I applied about a dime size to the blender. I don't like so far. It kind of emphasizes scars and you can kind of see the dry skin like I said. And you can really see my pores. Like, I don't know how I feel about it. And you can see my pores there. Let's go ahead and try to apply it on the other half of my face with the Delian flat brush and see if that's a little better. So I'm just gonna Apply the same size, about a dime size, on the brush, and I'm just going to buff that in. You can see I had a pimple there, so I'm just going to go over it and kind of just dab in that area because I feel like if I do that, I'm going to remove the product off of the area, and I don't want that. So obviously, now I'm going to need more because it kind of just took everything so I'm gonna add a little bit more so I'm gonna apply that on the forehead and again a little bit more on that pimple to cover it up the coverage on this I would say it's medium to full and it's definitely buildable but I feel that if you let it dry and apply more it might be kind of patchy and it might look too thick again I feel like this really emphasizes dryness and pores on the skin so if you haven't exfoliated like I haven't, you're gonna notice a lot of dry skin, flaky skin, and I feel like if you don't use the right moisturizer, again, I only use the Nivea Post Shave Balm, which is just a hydrating, I would say primer, but it's not really a primer. You have like, you know, big pores and things like that. I would probably use a smoothing primer or a mattifying primer, but the coverage is, is not bad. I mean, I just don't like the fact that it emphasizes like, you know, the, the pores and the flaky skin. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face. The time right now is 9.59. We are going to put this 
to the test. Okay, so I wanted to keep it simple, so all I did was apply concealer, powder to set my face, eyebrows, obviously, mascara, and lips, and a little bit of highlighter, of course, because you have to have a little bit of highlighter. So um, again, now after applying my makeup, it is 10.05, so it took me five minutes to do that, and we're gonna put it to the test. So I'll check in with you in maybe an hour or so. I'm gonna go run some errands this morning, so I will bring my camera with me to show you how this is gonna work out for me. I'll let you know. So. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys during the daylight, sunlight, what the foundation looks like. It's very even, it's very smooth. So far, so far. It looks really good right now. Right, so it's 12 o'clock. Wanted to do an update on how my foundation is holding up. I'm just cleaning up the sides here because I've been wearing the sunglasses. I feel like I'm getting a little oily, but other than that, it's holding up pretty nicely. It is now 2.40 p.m. So I've had it on for four hours and 40 minutes. So let's just say like almost five hours. Really held up nicely. My skin is combination oily. So I usually tend to get oily in the T-zone, which I did. Uh, again, the only thing that I used was the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm, which doesn't really control oil. So I probably would suggest if you do get oily in the t-zone to use a mattifying primer i think it's a really nice foundation again i wouldn't recommend it to someone that has dry flaky skin or maybe someone that has um you know enlarged pores or acne scars like i have acne scars and you can kind of i feel like it settles in the skin more than my favorite foundation for example which is the l'oreal infallible but overall i like the foundation um would i buy it again no although i do love this dream blender because it's really nice to apply foundation not only that it's really nice to set underneath the eye it really gets in the under eye area really nicely because it's like it's really pointy this was like $5.29 and the foundation was $8.99, I believe. I bought this at Target and I bought this at CVS, I think, or Walgreens, one of those. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review from the day and I will see you guys on my next. Bye!